Hi guys, here is Dr. Benaduce. Today we start studying the muscular tissue. In the tissues chapter, I told you that in our body we have four main types of tissues. Do you remember their names? They were epithelial tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue, and muscular tissue. When we dive in deep into muscular tissue, we see that we have three different types of muscles. And they are named smooth muscle, skeletal muscle, and cardiac muscle. And these three different types of muscles are found in different places of our body. And when we look at these three different types of muscles under a light microscope, we can see that they are different. They look different. So we have a structural difference between these three different types of muscles. And also the way these three different types of muscles work is slightly different. And I will go over the main differences we have between smooth muscle, skeletal muscle, and cardiac muscle in this lecture. But besides these differences, they are all within the muscular tissue category. And with that in mind, you can expect that they have common properties. And there are four special properties that we find in the muscular tissue, that we find in smooth muscle, skeletal muscle, and cardiac muscle. And these properties are excitability, contractility, extensibility, and elasticity. Now, what do you believe the word excitability means? This means that a muscle cell can be excited. And I told you in the nervous tissue class that in our body, we only have two cell types that are excitable. And they are muscle cells and nerve cells. Now, do you remember what means to be excitable? Being excitable means that muscle cells and nerve cells can go from being polarized cells to being depolarized cells. A polarized cell is the cell that has the inside of the cell more negative in relationship to the outside environment. And that's what we call resting membrane potential. Now, nerve cells and muscle cells are capable of reverting the polarity. So we have muscle cells and nerve cells when stimulated, they go from being more negative on the inside to being more positive on the inside when compared to the outside. And when that happens, we say that the muscle cell or the nerve cell is depolarized. And this change in voltage is what we call an electrical signal. That is an action potential. So we have muscle cells and nerve cells being excitable. They are excitable cells. Consequently, they have the property of excitability. Now, when muscle cells are excited, how do they respond to this stimulus? They contract. And that is what we call contractility. Congratulations. Now, we know that besides contracting our muscles, we can also stretch our muscles. And the property of a tissue to be able to be stretched without the cells getting damaged is what we call extensibility. So extensibility is the property that our muscle cells have that allows them to be extended, obviously within limits, and not get damaged. Now, after a muscle cell is extended or it is contracted, we know this muscle cell is capable of going back to its original shape and length. And this capability of going back to the original length and shape after it contracted or after it extended is what we call elasticity. 